Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and reviewing this uh, new Green Stuff World Mega Paint set, the starter box. So this is from Green Stuff World. I feel like this is a company that uh, it's fairly new on my radar. I've been trying out some other stuff. I really like it. So I thought I'd get this set. I feel like most people don't talk about Green Stuff World. You hear about Citadel, Paint, Vallejo, maybe AK, a few others, but no one's ever talking about Green Stuff World paint um but honestly from what i've tried so far i've tried their extra opaque line i'm really impressed so i thought i'd try their standard line with their kind of their max paint formula and i thought this is a great way to start it also has a lot of their metallics and their ink washes so i thought i would give it a go so let's unbox this so it comes in a really nice box uh, i'm pretty impressed with the box the packaging it's really nice it's really uh, slick i guess like you could say, you get a color chart, and this is essentially just a uh, chart of every color in their their standard opaque acrylic paint line. You can see it's over, I think it's 106. It's a fair amount. I'm pretty impressed. Um, you get some stickers. Kind of like collecting these stickers. And you get these nice little trays of eight paints in each. You get some varnish, you get a medium, you get like a blood effect, you get metallics, you got your standard golds and tin and bronze, and you got some silvers and your ink washes. You have all the main primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and green, violet, and brown, sepia, flesh tone. And then we get to the, the standard opaque acrylic line. Or the parchment, you can see it's the max formula. I guess that has better pigmentation or something. And also one thing I really like about these is that they all have a little shaker ball inside of them. So that's a plus in my book. It just makes uh, shaking them easier in my opinion. I mean, I have a, a vortex mixer, but a shaker ball really helps as well. So, and you get uh, six of these trays. Each one has eight paints, so that's 48 paints. Okay, you get all your primary colors, secondaries, and some parchments and flesh tones, some nice browns. So, yeah, I haven't actually tried uh, the Max Formula paints myself so far. I've only tried the opaque paints, but I will try them out here soon, and I will let you guys know. And we're back. So I'm going to be testing out the new, I don't know about new so much, but the Green Stuff World uh, Max Formula paints. Here they are. We have Genghis Khaki and Imperium Blue, and they are the Max Formula. And gave them a good shake and put them on my palette, and the first thing I notice is that they are very thin, so I find that you don't really need to thin them, but I'll demonstrate how they go on uh, in a model. Okay, let's start with the blue. You can see it's very thin. I mean, I'm, I'm not adding any water to this. That's how it came out of the, out of the, out of the, out of the bottle. Let me get this. My initial impression is that the coverage is, is very good. It's very thin. Yeah, it has very good coverage. It's really nice. And here we are after one coat. All right, so initial impression is I really like it. I really like how thin it is. You don't need to thin it and it has really good coverage. I don't know why more people don't talk about these paints. I feel like I had to go out of my way to discover these. All right, now I'm gonna try the Genghis Khaki. This is also quite thin. So far, this is really nice. Very nice coverage. Flows quite well. Yeah, both these colors are really nice. Yeah, so far, I'm very impressed. Um, I definitely see myself using these more often. 
really glad I uh, even learned about these. I mean, who talks about these? I mean, a few people do online, but people talk about Citadel or Vallejo or like I said before. But I thought I'd spread the word. I think these are really nice paints. And they're so, and they're very uh, affordable. It's like each bottle from Green Stuff World is about $2.59. And if you get a bundle, you get even more savings. And now I'm gonna try the metallics. All right, let's try Tin Metal Gray. I really like to use these little uh, popper, popper uh, fidget tools for kind of a palette for metallics and washes it just really helps keep it in a little pool so it doesn't spread too much and dry out overly quickly i find when you put them on a wet palette it does well when you put them on a wet palette they separate and yada yada i'm going i'm getting off track but back to the review these are looking pretty good all right here we have one coat um Looking, looking pretty good. I feel like probably going to need more than one coat for sure. Let's see how it looks with the second coat. Here we are after about two coats with the Tim Metal Gray. I think these metallics are pretty good. I don't know if they're my favorite metallics, but I mean, I don't know. Metallics are kind of funny sometimes. These are solid. I could totally see myself using these. All right, next I'm going to try the washes. All right, here we're using a, a wash ink. This is Astramentum Black. So far, it looks really nice. All right, now we'll just wait for it to dry. All right, here it is after drying the wash with the hairdryer. All right, it's looking pretty good. I'm noticing shading. It's kind of subtle in the more subtle areas, but more defined in the deeper crevices. So I find it has a nice, pretty nice finish. It's a little satin overall. It's a nice finish. It's, I'd say it's less satin than like a GW wash, but it's in, uh, it's not too matte to really dull down the metallics too much. So my initial impression is it's pretty nice. Um, I noticed with some washes, you got to be careful with like the deeper crevices, not to pull it too much. Otherwise, it can kind of give you, it can kind of glob in there and form bubbles. But as long as you avoid that, then yeah, I really like it. All right, I'm just going to tidy up the, the blue again with the Imperium Blue. Okay, I'm going to be using a little uh, Sun Bleached Bone to mix in with the blue to highlight. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make it go a little green, but I find that that's an interesting look sometimes. Sometimes uh, wiping away excess paint on the back of your nail is just the best way to get a really uh, tight mark on what you're painting. I'm not too worried about being ultra precise, it's just kind of a demo. All right, this is looking pretty good. So overall, my impression with these paints is uh, they're really nice. I find that they do separate a little quickly on the palette, but just working with them is so nice and their coverage is really good and they're just super thin. I don't have to worry about thinning them, at least the ones I've tried so far. I mean, I haven't tried every paint so far, but the ones I have tried are very, very nice. Nice coverage, but again, I haven't tried every paint in the standard line. I've tried many of the paints in the opaque line and those are amazing but overall uh my verdict on these is that they are really good they are very affordable they have really nice coverage really nice flow and they have a dropper bottle so it's a unsung gem i'd say i would totally recommend these to anyone basically they have a really nice selection of paints from what i can tell the coverage is really good now it's full disclosure i haven't tried many or even most of these paints so it's after this initial impression, I'm just giving you my thoughts right now in that I think that they're really nice. I think they're worth 
giving a try and seeing how you like it. There may be some paints I try and I'm just like, oh, I hate these, but of what I've seen so far of this line, I'm really impressed and I think these deserve more exposure, but yeah. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys uh, think there's a reason why this company isn't that well known or do you want to try them out? I'd love to hear your feedback. If you like my content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Have a great day.